are finally back home. We are staying with Nam and her mom and the most eventful drive from the Hamptons into Manhattan. We were literally in our car and then one of my water bottles, Hydro Flask, fully filled, opened up and spilled all over the car. Like we and we didn't realize until we were almost back in Manhattan. So we had like a three and a half hour drive. So I don't know how long the water was sitting there, but my laptop was just like laying on the floor sitting in that water and by the time I noticed I took out my laptop and it was pretty wet so it was working at the time but when I got back to Nam's place I started doing some work and the screen started flickering it wasn't really working anymore so I have an appointment to go into Apple tomorrow and hopefully have them look at it and it's sitting in a bag of rice right now this is her healing. Also have the AC on, so if it's loud, that is why. So hopefully the laptop will be fixable. Otherwise, I just have to get a new one because I need a laptop to get some work done. So it's just a little unfortunate, but hopefully, if anything, we can drop that in and get repaired. And once it's fixed, I can pass it along to Brandon because he needs a win he needs a new laptop anyway so other than that it took us a while to get back from the Hamptons but we had a great time also uploaded a separate vlog so I'll go ahead and link it up in the corner over there if you missed it but Brian and I are starting our one month in New York officially and we actually move into our apartment in Brooklyn on the first so we are just staying with them and her mom for a couple of days until then but today we had a pretty chill day grabbed some Korean food and had raw crab. So if you saw me and Nam digging in, it was delicious, but really, really spicy. It was my first time having like raw crab, which I didn't even know you could have crab like that. But we're back home and it is currently 1.30 a.m. And tomorrow we're actually gonna see Ray and her mans for a little double date situation. We have plans to go to the comedy club. We're probably gonna grab dinner together. So it'll be our first official day out in the city so really excited for that i'm also working with a luggage brand mono so the luggage that i normally carry around is from calpac which is like the all black luggage and i like it but i feel like it kind of falls apart pretty easily so honestly in my opinion i think they're cute but it's worth investing in something a little bit better so we'll play around with the monos ones and let you guys know how the quality is we don't have anything big planned the rest of the month we definitely just want to eat a lot of food go out and explore and the last time Brandon and I were in New York together was back in October of last year when we did our one month here so it's been a good long day I'm tired and we're gonna go to bed and we'll see you guys early in the morning nice. <laughs>
smell your Oh my god. Delis and get smoothies. So cheap. Because how much were both of these? <laughs> They're dead. Huh? Uh, Twelve dollars. Nah, asked for two smoothies. up today is actually my first early morning and I wanted to show you the haul that I picked up Brian and I picked up from yesterday we went to the Brooklyn Flea and kind of like spent the whole day in Brooklyn which is really cute and we actually move into our apartment tomorrow and we will be in Brooklyn so we're excited but the first thing that I picked up was some prints and I thought these would be so cute for my studio office space and this was just like a really cute gallery moment that I could do two black and white New York for two black and white New York -y photos and then I have one of the Statue of Liberty because I feel like that was missing there was another cover that I liked better but it was literally like the exact picture of this bridge and so I felt like this one is different I don't like love this cover as much but I feel like it's a good image of the Statue of Liberty so I think that would be really cute like that or something yeah and then i also got these linen pants that i'm really excited about we went into this new um vintage store called 10 feet single and it was really good it was really big everything felt really curated and prices weren't super unreasonable like these pants were 35 dollars which is like a good white linen pants that fit me really well they're long fit my waist and linen is great for the summer because they're so breathable so that would be great and I don't have a pair of like white linen pants so these will be perfect for when Brandon and I go to Europe too and then the rest of the stuff is actually stuff that Brandon picked up so it looks like he grabbed a pair of pants which is great because now it's our pants and then he also has like three pairs of denim in here that I'm not going to take out because I'm sure they're slight variations of each other I also forgot to pack a pair of jeans we're only like five days into our trip and I'm realizing like all the stuff that I should have packed that I didn't, which is the worst because we still have like a month out here. I only brought one white button up and it's been so hot and humid here. I've sweat through everything. So I definitely wish I brought more because I haven't been able to wear my white button up and I've already sweat through the one that I have. But this morning we're actually going to the Grand Bazaar, which is Kind of like a farmer's market vintage store i don't know just like a collector of vendors and it's pretty small but it's fun to go to and there's gonna be lots of food that we're gonna grab brian actually went on his morning run and i think once we get into our apartment and settled i'm gonna start working out as well so either doing f45 or running with him whatever i really liked f45 the last time i was here so i think i might pick up doing that again but we are Kind of tidying up our place a little bit and then getting ready to head out for the day.
Well, you change fast. I just want a t-shirt. Oh, how is it? I stuck my top of my mouth. Mm, yummy. Is it So we are in our new apartment in Williamsburg in Brooklyn and it is so stinking cute. So it's actually a friend of our friend's place and the whole apartment's decorated so cute, very good aesthetic. So I actually have a couple things I need to shoot here that I'm really excited for, but I'm gonna bring this week's vlog to a close. I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far. We were staying with Nam and her mom who are like good family friends of mine and we had a very wholesome time but now Brad and I are going to have our own apartment and today is actually August 1st so we're leaving we're going to be here until the 31st so we're going to spend a whole month here we're really excited to walk around and explore Brooklyn because we've never stayed in this area before and but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I'll go ahead and link all the outfits I wore down below and link any of the restaurants that we went to and stuff like that so if you guys want to see more videos from me like this, thumbs up this video so I know and make sure you subscribe so you see the rest of our New York content and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!